We're onto the grid now for the British Grand Prix, and it is five red lights. And we're racing in Silverstone. What are the start sight as we make our way piling towards Abbey Corner? It's a good start from Bradley Holden as he has to go the long way round into turn one. Now through turn two, Kai Kinch is trying to get onto the inside as we head away in through Village. But he'll be on the outside heading through the loop. He gets a little bit sideways on the exit of Village then. And through the loop, Bradley Holden holds on to the lead. Kian Gudendot then manages to find a way past Race King and moves himself now up into third place with a car going very much off the track then he's off to spa frankish the next round and rejoins the circuit i think it might have been tom roberts who's battling away now with Asacone for 13th place but there you can see ollie brocklehurst is battling away as well as uh, rudy right ahead of him trying to go side by side oh a little bit of oh. oh this a carnage three cars around as they were making their way through and towards woodco Asacone, tom and brock all around here meanwhile kian gurnadol having to go the long way round at cops corner then it's three wide as we make our way through in towards the shade the chicane this can't end no, well and it no doesn't way. end well Danerko and black box both off on board then with the mclaren of lando norris looking for a move up the inside of carlos Sainz here meanwhile that's allowed Sainz to run slightly deep he'll try up the inside now of george russell he'll get the power down and get the position ocon boxing next lap there as we see then Russell falling down then, the order Stroll looking for two positions in one fell swoop, which is exactly what he's got. The Canadian moves himself up into seventh place. And now Lando Norris, look at him go up the inside now of George Russell with the front wheel up in the air for Lando Norris. And regardless, he gets himself up. Oh no, he's run wide now. That'll hand that position straight back to George Russell, surely as Norris falls back down to nine. Have another look at this then. Is this a case of the McLaren running wide yet again? Same in real position and yet onto the gravel and that place back to Russell. Really all in a battle for second place. It looks like Dirk has just got himself ahead and then it's Araba and uh, Hayden Gull is now into fourth place. And well, I have to say, Jim Marduk has just got front row tickets for this three wide moment then going in towards Cops Corner. Surely that's not going to end well. Somehow it has. And Araba and all of that has now put himself up into second place. Hayden's now down to fifth place. I can't call this battle one way or the other as they make their way through now in towards Maggots and Beckett's. There's only three cars that have come through. What on earth has happened to Araba? And the final lap board is out here at the Kart Race of Champions 2023. For the heavy, uh, for the lightweights, the A final, Goldsmith having to hang on here. Brunton goes for it down the inside, in towards the first hairpin. Through goes Ollie Smith into the lead here. And now he goes in towards hairpin two. Goldsmith in second place, Brunton in third. It's all on Jack Goldsmith now. If he wants this third card race of champions, he's going to have to work for it. Work for it, he will. Through in towards Simon Sweet. Now in towards Pullman's we go. And in towards Paddock. Ollie Smith trying to fend off the pressure then as we head up towards Garda. Can he hold on for just a couple more corners as we make our way through the center chicane? Ollie Smith for TRX Racing has only got one corner to go, but Jack Goldsmith of Club 73 Racing is not going to go without a fight. It's so close to the line. It's Jack Goldsmith who gets to the line first and claims his third kart race of champions victory. Now Graham Dazil knows what's coming now. Flash of the lights then from Hans Sickens. He wants Graham Dazil to know he's there and he's not going away anytime soon. Heading in towards Brundle and then towards Nelson as Dazil. It feels like he's being washed, doesn't it? But from Hans Sickens, he's right over the rear diffuser as they make their way through Bombhole and then towards Corum. It's going to be a very interesting three minutes because right now Graham Dazil knows exactly what's coming as we head away on towards Murray's. Yeah, great start from Dylan then and a great start as well from Jack Goldsmith to get that car up into second place and challenging for the lead as well. Uh, but the, now we make our way in towards Garda and it's getting uh, two wide, maybe even three wide behind them as they make their way all through Garda. It's all trying to sort themselves out now as they make their way through uh, the centre chicane and then up the hill they go towards Cafe curve and just like that the first lap of the 24 hour is over we are well underway now and it is that number five adrenico racing pro who do lead the way as uh, side by side we go in towards uh, wherever you go wherever you look at side by side racing 
as Roman Bullet now moves up the order, then trying to challenge away. But look at that now. Simone Violo is catapulting down the order, falling like a stone. He's now down to ninth place. Le Ponru will now be next to try and try and see if he can get a position there. Rudy is moving up a position. Tycho Hardy up into eighth place. Uh, Bradley Holdem, has he managed to find a way past Kian Gudendop then? Bradley Holdem finds himself now up into fifth place. Kian Gudendop is now down to seventh place as Rowan Bullet finds his way through. Oh, it's a puncture! Surely no. it's a puncture for Gudendop! He spun around right on the entrance in towards turn nine. Then surely that's a puncture for Kian Gudendop there. I mean, just happy to be patient on the ball for now. Ben Davis with a long ball forward, aiming for the right-hand side for Fashion Sakala. One in the air by Simikas. Fabio Carvalho didn't try to pick up on it, but here's an attack for Rangers here. Scott Arfield on the ball. Scott Arfield has scored from absolutely nothing. Scott Arfield with his first goal in the Champions League group stages. The Ibrox erupts. Coming through the cafe curve, we're on to the final lap of the Kart Race of Champions 2023, the heavyweight A final. It is Mark Puxty who leads from Johnny Wilson. Anwar Beryl Smith has got himself up into third place. Last year's winner of the Kart Race of Champions, Ryan Sandal, is in fourth place. And looking fourth best in this one, in this battle, Mark Puxty looks over his right shoulder, checks where Johnny Wilson is. He knows he might launch a move up towards Paddock. Now he makes his way through in towards Pullman's and in towards Paddock we go. Puxty positions the car so that Johnny Wilson can't get anywhere near him. Defends the inside line as they head their way through in towards Garda. Now making our way through in towards the centre chicane. Through in towards Cafe Curve and heading towards the line. The checkered flag is at the ready. It's Mark Puxty who wins for Club 73. Bushyans knows he has to be slightly aggressive here if he wants to not only make these tyres work, but to make this strategy work and really hunt down Tom once again. He's looking for a move down the inside in towards turn six. No sooner did I say he had to be a little bit aggressive. That's exactly what he's done. Inside line for turn seven. Contact between himself and Persia now through in towards turn eight. And now they get the power down. They're going to run side by side through in towards turn nine. Bushy Ants has the outside line, but the superior tire grip, can he make it work? Round the outside goes Bushy Ants. We're heading our way now through in towards Calf Curve and making our way on towards the Sicily Straight as you now, you send your way on towards Conway's. Keep to the left-hand side of the track. Half a car's width, as the race director said in the driver's briefing. Through your way towards turn two as you get onwards then towards hairpin one, the first heavy braking point of the circuit. Keep nice and tight to the inside there to get the power down early. Heading up towards headway, uh, hairpin two even. Keep all right. We'll late apex, pick up the second part of the hairpin there as you get back onto the power. It's flat out in the drive through the S's here. A very sweeping section as then you start to descend as you make your way through in towards Syme Sweep. Kiss that curb on the right hand side, but don't pick up those blocks. Then you make your way through in towards Pullman. It's a very tricky corner. It's bumpy on entry as you now get onto the brakes in towards Paddock Bend. Back on the power as you make your way up Damon Hill and up towards Garda, where it's a very late apex corner. It's later than you think as you'll then go back onto the power, down through the center chicane as you make your way up the rise and back towards the cafe curve. It's a great lap here. Dry or wet, whatever the weather conditions will be, that is your lap of Buckmore Park, and that is what's facing us in the next 24 hours.